Hey Jenny, how you doing? All right, so I've got your banner up. I was reading your writing. Good job describing your intent and your methodology. Thank you for including that. Let's jump right into the banner ad. You know, I'll I tell you, I think that it's it, it, it's it, you're showing good technical proficiency. Your animations look fantastic. Out placement looks great. Image adjustments look great. Uh, place logo, uh, typography, everything looks fantastic. But the composition itself, I think, is really, really uh, imbalanced. I think that there's so much visual weight on the right-hand side of the composition and very, very, very little on the left-hand side of the composition. You did place your type, most of your type, on the left-hand kind of side of the composition. However, I don't think there's enough there to counterweight. And you even have this little gradient here. There's just not enough here to counterweight the, the, the balance. Um, that's the bulk of the, the visual weight is on the right-hand side of the composition. A couple of things that you can do. I mean, think about how you can rectify this. Um, I'm not sold on the, this gradient here. I don't think you need it. I really don't. I think that you, you've got a really good opportunity here to place type right over the image itself. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do. Um, don't forget, by the way, uh, the requirements actually indicate that the only thing animated in the banner is the, the text for the call to action. So the headline out of office and cancel your meeting subhead should remain static. This is what should be, that should be animated right there, that 50% off. And when you do animate it, make sure that you, when it fades back out, make sure it's only gone for a fraction of a second because you want that viewer to know there's an animation there that's going to hold their um, attention until that animation is completely able to be read. But if it's if it's gone, if it's disappeared for too long, there's a chance the viewer could look at the banner at a point where it's not visible and skip right through the ba banner, not realizing there's a promotional offer. Um, okay, so the couple of things that you can do here now, is, as far as the way this is configured, you, I think the, the easiest fix would be this. Um, Oh boy, we can't really move this notebook to this side of the page because I, I would probably want to tilt it this way as opposed to this way. That's one option is to try to move that over the other. And I know that there's a whole right-hand side of that notebook that will probably uh, not be easy to place there. The other option is this, is to take the image itself and flip it uh, horizontally so that she's on this side. Then you can take the notebook and place it on this side while your type resides in the middle, which I, I still think there's plenty of opportunity to, to and add the type there in, in, a, in a way that it's going, going to be visible and very easily readable. Um, okay, and I would also, I think I would left align that, that uh, call to action with the headline subhead. Now remember, headline subhead, they're gonna stay, they're not gonna move at all. So you may consider even the purple type there, that the white type is a little bit stark. It might not be once we remove that gradient from the background. So just be aware of that. Um, you've got the cyan color to work with. You've got the purple color to work with as well. Let's get that alignment set up. Again, I think if you flip this horizontally, you'll have the girl over here, which will open up this side to place that this notebook as it is like that. And then the only other recommendation is to add the location somewhere in the banner ad. That is very pertinent information, being that it is located in the um, Virgin Islands in, in the Caribbean, which many consider to be, of course, the most beautiful area in the world. So that's definitely something you want to include in your banner ad. Um, okay, so those are my recommendations. I'd like to see you um, uh, work th those issues out, uh, specifically the balance issue. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Or if you want to run something by me, go ahead and post here. Or uh, you can always post in a general questions area as well. well Whatever is easiest for you. I'm, I'm here to provide feedback regardless where you post or when you post. So keep that in mind moving forward. Okay, great start. Thank you very much. And again, most importantly, if you have any questions or need clarification, please let me know. Thank you.